Hi there. This video is a dive into cockpit construction for my LEGO model, Interference. It's a companion to the build overview video I've already published. In due course, I'll have a parts list and model file available at galacticplastics.com. All right, I'm going to start in on the cockpit, and the first uh, little sub-module here uh, is the section that runs up the center of the glass. It has some white blocking, uh, then with these long 1 by 8 tiles that run along each side. Uh, there's some panels here for the glass. And uh, to get this to work, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, these are 1 by 2 to 2 by 2 brackets uh, in dark blay, uh, and they've just been reversed into one another uh, using a, a clip light uh, here. Uh, so uh, pretty straightforward. And then this, so then this section uh, is going to come into this little sub-module. Uh, here, uh, this uh, has a I need to do a stud reversal, uh, and so I'm using a uh, this uh, two by two plate with an extension uh, into a jumper, uh, and then some plates uh, with um, clips uh, into tiles with bars. Uh, I've got one of the controls here on for the pilot, and so this section, uh, this little sub module, will come in here uh, to the back and connect it in like so. Uh, and then into that will come our seated pilot here. Uh, and uh, this little section has a bunch of studs here along the front and some things which are, uh, uh, and the um, uh, these ones here in tan are going the other way as well. We'll connect all that up in just a minute for some strength. And so pilot in uh, on these top four studs. Uh, so his right hand uh, has a, a control stick. Uh, we'll add one for the left as well. Okay. Then uh, on either side of the pilots uh, are these little sub-assemblies. Uh, so uh, just a stack of, of plates and some wedges and uh, some slopes. Uh, the brown area here is going into seating, and the way this uh, section here in the back is set up uh, is using a uh, plate with a cl um, clip on top uh, and then a, a plate with a bar. Uh, that gives us both an angle and then also extends it out uh, by a, a half plate gap, uh, which I needed for, just to make everything line up perfectly. So this uh, should come in on this side. And when I do this, it's going to connect into these two studs, so it's giving strength to this uh, center section. And, and then around, uh, here's the other side. And then this one has on the uh, back of the, I suppose it's the pilot's headrest here, uh, which will connect all the way through. Okay. So there's our seated pilot. Now uh, this section uh, with the pilot, uh, then we'll connect into this uh, into this area with uh, all the glass and everything, uh, which looks like this. Uh, the back section here uh, is going to connect down into the frame uh, uh, with the studs coming down. I put it on these tiles with the uh, two studs to make it easier to pull in and out. Uh, but there's a bunch of studs heading down. Um, some things going on with the brackets here that we'll see in a moment to connect upwards at the right uh, at the right spacing, uh, and then the overall cockpit is uh, canted down, uh, and that starts with these uh, uh, bar and clip arrangement into uh, the cockpit itself. So the glass uh, is held in place uh, with um, a uh, uh, this hinge uh, this uh, hinge from below uh, because the entire section pull this back out. Uh, because the entire section here in the center uh, is the five plus two plates, uh, these needed to be gapped out. Uh, and so they're spaced uh, here uh, and here uh, and here. And uh, you can see that carried forward here underneath this tile. Pop this out. So this is a two plates uh, difference, uh, which is then being carried in the, the top and bottom one by one bracket here. Uh, then this section, uh, uh, it's got just the right geometry going on with the brackets and various other things just to give it nice and nice and strong and sturdy, uh, heading into stud reversal uh, to pick up studs coming in two different directions for the center section that we just built. So uh, we can bring this in and uh, connect everything. Like so. Now, when I actually connect this into the frame, uh, I'm going to have the glass open to start uh, because the uh, it's going to pick up some other things. Uh, but I can just go ahead and close it up 
uh, here's what the pilot looks like inside. So the next section is just to cover up the top. Uh, and that has uh, two bits that I just pulled apart here. So uh, here's the rear area, and this has to do a transition now to 45 degrees. Uh, and it does that because I want to pick up and use this uh, tile, this uh, quarter uh, quarter round, I guess, um, a large t uh, tile in light bright orange, uh, which has perfect geometry to sit here inside of these brackets. And uh, but then we need to transition past this 45 degree to go, uh, you know, back to the normal orientation. And so that is this little section and subunit. And uh, you can see the top. Uh, there's also stud reversals happening here uh, and the bottom. Uh, where this is connecting into the glass, I'm using these quarter round tiles and there's an exposed panel uh, and that will allow this section in the front uh, to come in just perfectly and uh, mesh up inside of there. So uh, I'll drop this in. Uh, when I do that, you can see this is uh, this is pretty nicely gapped uh, between the, the cheese on the front section and the cheese here in the rotated area. Uh, this um, this cheese here on top of the yellow, uh, it's a quarter plate lower uh, than everything else. Uh, that's a consequence of using the jumpers, and that was the best way to get that in there. Um, so there's a tiny, tiny gap uh, there, but that gets covered up uh, once I drop in the tile, uh, which, it, uh, by the way, is itself sitting on a jumper. Okay. So there's that unit. Uh, which I now can uh, connect in uh, to the glass, uh, and uh, I think this is a this is a really nice fit. I was very happy uh, with the way that this worked uh, with these 33 degree slopes coming in. And just drop all this in studs in the back, uh, nudge things around. Okay. So there is the uh, completed cockpit uh, subassembly. Uh, and I'll bring this back and uh, connect it up in the frame in just a bit. Let's do the area which is surrounding the cockpit on either side. And uh, that section begins with this little this little module. Uh, there's some playful things happening here because the connection of this, uh, when it's going to sit on top of the ship, uh, needed to be um, uh, pulled one plate forward. Uh, so uh, this this section here with the uh, headlights and the plates uh, is just taking this this area, uh, this submodule, I'll open it up uh, and uh, pulling it uh, off of the off of the normal stud pattern. So there's just a grill tile here in the top. So it's a plate here, plate and a half in the back, uh, which is going to be the perfect way to line this up. And so I'll just put this back together. So that's what's going on here, uh, and then here uh, it's more complicated. Uh, this is the um, uh, uh, gapped out the connect we some stud reversal and various other things happening uh, to get this uh, cheese grater in the right place as well as to open up this connection point uh, in just the right spot which is where this is going to come in so this little subunit uh, you can see the uh, the long white plate which will run alongside the cockpit glass uh, and then this is giving us an 18 degree uh, jog in terms of direction uh, with the clip and the uh, plate with the bar uh, and uh, then um, when that's been projected out here on the red, uh, it's a perfect fit uh, up flush uh, against this cheese grater. It's a really nice little geometry. Uh, down below, uh, this uh, plate here uh, with the um, uh, tile on it uh, and clip, uh, this is something that's going to connect um, a long time from now. Uh, when we put all the other parts together with the wing, uh, there's, a, there's an interlock, uh, which is going to happen. So this section. Uh, then we'll uh, come in uh, from below and connect in on this uh, projected um, uh, two by two corner plate in gray. So uh, when that's done, uh, there's a, a really, uh, I, I think, a pretty outstanding look here where this comes together. Uh, so these two uh, wedge baby bows um, uh, are opposed to one another. I think this is a super nice looking curve. Uh, and then the white here uh, is coming in, looks uh, as blocking, uh, looks pretty solid, uh, really tight. Uh, there's a little bit here on the front, uh, which uh, is uh, just a stack of, of, mostly stack of plates and um, 
uh, a bit of shaping uh, with the round extension on this two by two plate. Uh, that's going to uh, connect in here. Whoops. Uh, like so. And, uh, and I'll just show here before I connect everything up uh, in the big final assembly, how this is gonna work. So uh, here uh, is the starboard side uh, and the, um, uh, this is then coming in uh, on a series of uh, plates and uh, with bar and clip, uh, which then I'll show from below, uh, which then connects in on either side. So it looks like this assembly, uh, and that's going to connect in in the front uh, as well as here in the back uh, once we um, uh, bring it all together uh, around the cockpit. Two other really small little modules just to mention here in the front of the cockpit. Uh, this, if I look at it, studs up this way, uh, some uh, baby bows, uh, which then is transitioning using a, a head using a, a Technic brick, uh, rather this is a a plate uh, with a uh, tile with just two studs into a uh, Technic brick. I don't use that very often uh, these days, but I used it here uh, just to project out uh, and allow these uh, two hinge bricks uh, with the blue here, uh, which well, is going to be a perfect fit uh, later in the front of the cockpit. And then uh, just a very simple little element, which is going to come in below uh, a bracket uh, with some cheese and uh, some wedge baby bows on it. Uh, here's the module uh, that I built out earlier. For that, yes, and uh, and to ins install this into the frame, I'm going to open up the glass on either side, uh, and that is to uh, let me get at uh, this bracket on a hinge down below, uh, which is going to hold the front down. Uh, there's a spacer here on this uh, on these headlight bricks. Uh, everything else here will connect up through the back. Yeah, this can be a little bit finicky. Just nice. Okay, and with this uh, there, now we can close up the glass. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to put around the I'm going to put in the surrounds, uh, which go on either side of the cockpit uh, area. Uh, just nudge this down. Okay. Uh, we created that earlier as well. It looks like this assembly, uh, and from above. Uh, and this is going to come in uh, uh, just uh, around the front, uh, and then connect up in the back. And it can be a little bit fiddly, so let's see how I can get this to go. Nice. Cinch everything in. All right, so uh, with that on, you can see this is a pretty perfect fit uh, along the edge uh, of the glass and it's giving a nice reveal here uh, for the portion of the windscreen and canopy that's up above. Uh, the nose uh, then needs to be finished off. So uh, earlier I showed this little unit and this will come in on two studs. Nice. So uh, now that I've done that, um, you might be able to see down below, uh, if I can hold it in the camera properly, uh, that these uh, hinge bricks uh, with the uh, plate uh, with the handle on top uh, now are uh, coming in uh, just perfect uh, and flush uh, up against that section of the cockpit surround. That's a really nice fit here with the door rail and uh, the plate extension. Uh, and you can see that uh, then if I get the nose in, uh, now uh, the white comes in. Uh, it carries up through the center of the cockpit uh, and down and around. So that leaves just one little bit uh, to do uh, this little simple bracket. And this is the last finishing piece uh, now to come in on the bottom of the nose. And uh, pull this around. There we 
go. So it looks like this down from below, not from the front. And, uh, uh, and there is uh, our completed cockpit section. We can move on with the rest of the final assembly.